Should we start by cracking open a beer? Absolutely. I see you, you brought a... Just in case I don't like that yeah. one. Yeah. No, that's a good call. Yeah. Because I've been let down before. Yeah. So this is uh, Amsterdam. Sorry. Amsterdam Brewery in Toronto. Strong beer. 7.1%. It is a stronger beer. It's also not uh, filtered. So I get a hell of a hangover from these. You got to work in the morning? Yeah. Well, good luck. What the fuck? Oh, God. I forgot. I forgot that. That tasted like. (laughs) It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, I'm proud of you. I thought you were going to for sure just start off with. It's got like a Guinnessy ish. Um, I, I would never describe it like that. I don't know anything though. I could like maybe see what you're saying. Maybe it's like the, I don't even know if this is a thing, hardiness of it. Like I, I that, that is kind of the word I was going to use that you're comparing. I'm like, I guess there is like a, I'm going to put this hardiness is a great word for now. Cause I would never be able to compare those two, but there is something. Oh, I this to... is uh, an IPA. Mm. I wanted to put something on the set. I forgot. Yeah, go grab it. It's in my car. Oh. If you want to. I could just uh, do my thing. I'll talk. (laughs) (laughs) You know, Lee Harvey Oswald is an innocent man. JFK had it coming. The IRA is a farce. They launder money for the IRS. Oh. It's the wheel I bent on my car. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. Yeah. I'm like, that'll look cool on here, maybe. I don't know. Is it in shot? No. It's kind of in our shot, but. It'll be on this one. Yeah. What a breath. Oh, fuck. Oh, you'll never see. I mean, <laughs> it's part of the part of the okay. chores of uh, podcasting. Okay. So where was I? So what's new? Um, not a whole lot. I was very happy with the last episode. I made two weeks worth of videos. I think I, I think I came up with my last one today. Yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah, and then here we are, ready to go. Oh, <sighs> here we are. Um, yeah. The reason I I brought the wheel because like I'm like right when I found out that I bent it, I'm like. This must be how Vin Diesel feels every single day. Wait, hold on, why? Because he's probably out there just destroying cars all yeah. day. <laughs> Do you think they actually drive them anymore? Or is it all CGI? Is that what yeah, but, or like just pure stuntmen. Like, do you think he does anything anymore? No. He looks He looks really out of shape. He does like this, this like... Yeah. The the tough arm on the yeah. wheel and then maybe this one's on the shifter. Oh yeah, that's you know, it. Tough that's... arm, zoom in, muscle. You know, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, did you not just look just like Vin Diesel there? Family. Oh. Oh, you got me there. Quarter yeah. mile at a time. I don't know that line. You said that on the last podcast. I assume it's a Yeah, a fast... that's he lives his life a quarter mile at a time. Well that sounds risky. Yeah. That sounds it usually like, works out for him. That in sounds the end. really like. I know that's a distance, but that sounds slow. A quarter mile. Yeah. Well, it's more about how long it takes you to get there. Yeah. And typically, what they like is under ten seconds. Oh. So that's why he's like, "You owe me your ten second car." You know a lot about this. I'm a big fan. Holy shit! Well, you told me that, but I don't believe you. Yeah. Well, I. Like I said, I've only seen the first one <laughs> and the one right after when he died. Uh, Paul Walker, that is. Rest um, in peace. Sweet angel. Do you know which one that is? I don't, I, they're, they're so confusing Seven. from like five, six. As soon as The Rock got involved, I'm like, I'm out. I, he was like a, a bad guy on like five or something or six. Is that when he was in? I don't know. Okay. All I remember, maybe he was even in that one. I don't know. We, we really bashed The Rock, eh? He's a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Dave Batista? 
I would say he's a better actor. Yeah. I would say him as um what's his name? Which character? Which movie? Um Guardians. Oh yeah. Drake uh no, that's not it. Drake is not here today. Yeah, what the fuck? Drake. It's okay. Uh Drax. Drax. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you know what I like him in? Uh, and we've talked about this Blade Runner. Doesn't he Yes. Simple, yes. very simple role. But like could you imagine the rock in that role? He'd wreck it. Yeah. So look I, at how deep. I think it's stuff. just because the rock is so like unbelievable and he's just over so over the top animated. He's got a very big character. Yeah. Like, it's it, always like it's almost like he could act better than Batista, but he's not doing anything with it. So it's just a waste, waste of talent. Yeah. But now he's like typecast into like that role oh, every yeah. time. It's like, I wouldn't even say typecast though, because I think he's in charge of that. So he's just being lazy. Because I think he's like the one that gets to pick roles. Hmm. So I don't even think he's being typecast. It's like him just. But not, not he'll caring. he'll never be in like a serious role. No. I don't think. No. It'd be very hard to to take that seriously. What was that movie that by the Donnie Darko director in his second movie like kind of starred The Rock? Southland Tales. I've not seen that. That was, uh, it has The Rock early acting. Very bad. Mm-hmm dreadful i'm gonna show a quick clip right now of the rock what he was doing in that scene was doing this was he doing this it was it's if you spell he he was actually i think doing that eyebrow it's better on this side oh that was good oh i'm doing like a jack nicholson <laughs> it's way worse when we make eye contact doing it. <laughs> the eye contact is awkward there. Uh. Mm. Oh no! Spill. Oh, now I gotta sit through this whole thing with a stain. Leave your car keys here. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the mic to cover that. Done. How embarrassing! Yeah, that's that is. I would just never let like that me. happen. Or do I? Do I even it out? Do I do it so you don't look so weird? I mean, it would be nice. All right. Then I'd have to rip my shorts though. But my shirt's black, so maybe the pants. Yeah, then I look like I pissed my pants. That is a nice Thor shirt. Is it Marvel Zombies? Is Marvel Zombie shirt. Yep. Did you ever read any of those? Um. No. Our mutual friend Anson was obsessed with them. I remember he had all the hard book. Yeah, like you remember the, that? The hard I have, ones. I've only seen what Anson had, so. I'm trying to get him on here as a guest. Oh, that'd, that'd be cool. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck he's going to go. Like, he's going to have to, like, sit up here on this box. If he could, like, just be front front and center. Hmm. Get that nice look. Or going. we get the desk, the the longer desk. We're looking to do more... uh, a desk now instead of the seats. I, I like the comfiness, but I think the desk is really going to pull off a... Or maybe a couch. <laughs> or, like, um, a love seat. I just picture how awkward it is. It's going to be sitting next to people. Yeah. That's why I like the typical f- podcast format with like two, two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm really liking the desk idea though. I keep seeing, you can get a nice close up with the desk. You can talk to the person. You, mm-hmm. There's just a lot going on that you can get with that. I think it'll ultimately be the best choice. Let's just get rid of all this shit that I spent so much. Oh, you can keep it all. You were going to get rid of it all. Yeah. Oh, I thought the desk was just going to go in the No, middle. I'm just joking. Oh, okay. This is... Yeah, we could literally just replace this. Uh, yeah. Anyway. That's, that's it. Also looking for sponsors. Pepsi. Amsterdam Brewery. We are enjoying your bone shaker. 7.1. So I think this is the strongest IPA I drink. Yeah. Not just strongest like in alcohol. I probably drink stronger in alcohol, but strongest flavor. I'll probably fight my mother after this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've seen you do it. Pepsi. If we get the Pepsi sponsorship, that would really help me out of a jam because I drink a lot of it. I can't believe Pepsi hasn't discovered you yet. Yeah. Well, yeah. You were having a, a tough time in high school, and I purely blame it on you were drinking way too much Pepsi. I was having a tough time. You weren't sleeping and you were staying up all night and you weren't going to school. I blame. Um, and I literally remember like, well, you just drank 24 you know, Pepsis. To, I was going to school. Not after 24 Pepsis. When you did your case run, you would not go to school the next day. 
<laughs> I don't remember that ever happening. I don't think Pepsi owes you a sponsorship. I think they owe you like retribution. Remember uh, the Pepsi points? Yeah. I, I remember I collected a bunch. It, it was hard to get stuff. I wanted, um, I think it was like a jacket or something like that, but you need like a shitload of points. That's what you were aiming for, the jacket? There was a sick, it was like, a, it was like a Letterman jacket. I can't remember. It was, so I guess you never heard about the documentary. Oh, I've seen it. You've seen it. I've seen it. I have not seen it. Okay. You it's it's a good the, watch. You want to tell everybody what this documentary is about? It's about a man's quest to get the Harrier jet that was advertised on the commercial. It was a complete joke that they Bought. said the jet, but this is before the days of disclaimers. Yes. Big mistake. But then I don't know if you remember. So that was the American version, the Canadian version. I don't know if it came out after that, but then there was a disclaimer, just kidding. And oh. then it went everywhere to just kidding after this guy started suing them. Oh, so yeah. It was actually quite the. Do you think the, the film. Canadians were ahead on this idea? Like, whoa, well, whoa, 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 someone's gonna come. For I don't this. know if they were ahead, but it was like I just noticed that maybe, it, maybe it just the worldwide they changed the commercial, and maybe that's why I, I always, it. I always remembered the just kidding, but is that because they added it? That was later. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So these guys were like, it's it's a it's a good watch. I would say if you if you like that type of like uh, I don't even know what you call it mischievous kind of documentary i'm gonna do something here because i've never seen it so we're gonna we're gonna you're gonna rate it it's gonna be on you i'm gonna say reviewed by Ooh, rain out of 10 so we do a 10 but we do a point system point you know so i like to throw things i like in the seven eights yeah i usually leave the classics to the nines so um and then you however much you liked it you point and you go up from there as well like to a nine or whatever okay so it sounds like you liked it. I I liked it. I so didn't you're think aiming it would... for a, a I thought high it would... six, anywhere in the sevens, maybe even a high eight. I would say for the entire presentation of it, I would give it an eight point five. It's very good. Very it was it was, it was entertaining. Like they took like basically like a like kind of a, a smaller story and stretched it over four episodes. Oh, um, I didn't know it was episodes. I thought it was like a two. Yeah, so movie. there it's it's a, a series, but it's a very oh, okay. short series, but okay. it's a it's a four episode thing. And then you watch them like you, you learn all about them. Like they're actually like pretty cool guys. They they have like one's like a pilot, one guy's like a I don't even know what he does. He's like he a became a pilot. He yeah, so I think he did anyway, if I remember correctly. Um one like the one guy's like financing all this just because he thinks it's cool. Like he's just like, okay, like fuck it, let's sue Pepsi. It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll pay for the lawyers. Was he friends with those guys or? Yeah, so he's like an older dude. I can't I can't remember how they met, but it was like the the guy was, was like he had money and he just thought it was cool that this kid was doing that. I, I can't remember if they worked together or not, if they had like a job together. I, I don't remember how they met. But yeah. And the he was like a like a really cool dude and the, and we'd have to beat up just I'm gonna yeah, pay for the lawyers for you. Yeah. Do they? Well, I guess we shouldn't wreck it. I guess I'll discover the ending. Of yeah, I don't want to wreck it for you. Yeah, but not for these others. Yeah, and we don't care. Yeah, that's cool. You had your chance. Yeah. So Pepsi, uh, we're not going to see you for anything. You know, Ryan graduated. He got through. I don't believe that we have the firepower to like sue them because they they. They went after these guys too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, they went after them. Well, they like countersued. Nice. If I remember correctly, that doesn't seem accurate. Like, what what leg do they have to stand on? Like, I don't know if it's. I can't remember. I don't want to. I don't want to like. You don't want to get sued. I don't want to get sued. Yeah, Pepsi's lethal. But it's delicious. Uh, easily my favorite. Let's call it soda. Mm -hmm. Easily, it's the best. I, I'm drinking Pepsi Zero now. I'm not going to lie. Coke, regular Coke versus regular Pepsi. Regular Coke has a very good chance. But then all the other products that they make, Coke is complete garbage. And Pepsi, it just keeps putting out bangers. So I think yeah. as a whole family, Pepsi is easily the company I want on my side. So you like 7-Up more than Sprite? 
Uh, I don't really drink those white pops. Mm. That was a weird thing to say, white pops. I wouldn't have said anything like that. <laughs> uh, clear. I would have said clear. Clear. Yeah. I don't really drink the clear ever. Um, Which one? I, I'm, I'm going to take a guess here, and I don't know the answer, but I'm going to guess. Sprite is Coke. So that's correct. Pepsi. That's yeah. correct. I can just tell. But I actually like Sprite better than 7-Up. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I've ever drank Seven Up, but that's because it's not really available. Sprite's always around. I think Seven Up. Yeah, I, I would say I see more Sprite than Seven yeah, Up for sure. Yeah, Sprite's always around. Yeah. Um, I believe also that Coke is the number one known word on the planet. Number one what word? Like every oh. like out of on the entire planet, everyone yeah. knows that word. I believe that's the number one spoken word on the yeah, planet. I could believe that. Yeah. Because like that's like the same thing with like McDonald's. Like kids recognize the M yep. more than anything they've ever seen. That's very believable. Coke. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's our our uh, soda. Yeah. Rating. We're just, you know, Pepsi. Just Pepsi. That's all we want to talk about, really. Should be a Pepsi podcast. I would if they paid like they heavy sums of money. Pepsi? I would put Pepsi right up there. Yeah. I'll, you know. Yeah. I, I would actually, like, I'd advertise to anyone. Like, I would advertise to OJ, like anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we need, we need money. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Are you advertising for OJ or if, like to if OJ? OJ, OJ wrote a book. I will, I will put it right here. It's yeah, a, he wrote, he wrote that book. Eh? And yeah. I think the family bought it and didn't do nothing with it or they took They it. bought the book. <laughs> Like Jesus they bought the Christ. rights to it, so he couldn't do nothing with it. But then they were like, "This is money," and I think they sold it. Mm. You think uh, he did it? Innocent. <laughs> the club did not fit. <laughs> he must have quit. He must have quit. <laughs> if you get catchy phrases, yeah, I I believe you hundred percent of the time. Yeah, that really sold. Yeah. Me. No, here's another thing though. The, and, okay, like I don't think he's innocent but i don't think he was actually there for the murder i think he's the kind of guy who just gets someone to kill but the like because the blood at the scene of the crime it had uh, a component called edta that's like things that i do in blood when i want to try to keep blood from clotting <clears throat> you have it in a tube with edta in it the blood had edta in it what does that mean that someone like planted it planted blood <gasps> And that has OJ. nothing that has nothing to do with like the crime. Obviously, it was probably a cop who's trying to blame OJ, but they got some OJ blood, they put it on the ground. It's got EDTA in it. How do they get OJ blood though? Whatever, blood bank or a sample from a lab, whatever. Hmm. Whatever you gotta do to get OJ blood. Did we just crack the fucking case? Yeah. Here? So being a lab guy, me seeing this, these always set off alarms. Like, well, that's a bigger deal than they're making because they always just blow over the EDTA talk in all documentaries. They always bring up EDTA. Was it in the blood or not? And nobody cares because nobody knows what the hell that means. But I'm like, this is the whole story. You've just told me the case was in that, episode two or whatever. That was like a thing back then? Like that was in? I've seen it in uh, Making a Murderer. Uh, the blood did not have EDTA in it. Mm. And that's everyone, another one. That's and everyone thinks wild. that guy's innocent, and, but the blood didn't have EDTA. So he, to me, he's guilty. Hot take. The only thing about that one in particular is that cop that r- arrested him yeah. originally yeah. is the same cop that like, whoa, I just, I just randomly ran through here. I just found this set of keys that, <laughs> that the entire forensics team missed. Listen. He's not the OJ cop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that guy went to lengths to put that OJ blood. Could you down. imagine if OJ is actually innocent? I couldn't. Like, and that, like. It's very difficult for me to believe he's He's innocent. had a rough run after that, too. Like, he had to, like, steal his own memorabilia back. Do you ever, like, yeah, that's a. I mean, that's why I think he's guilty, actually, because <laughs> of that second thing. As bizarre as it sounds, it's like he's just not right. He's just willing to commit crimes. Well, with a bunch of friends. But once you get, like, I don't know, once someone tells you that you're guilty and you know you're not, you're like, oh, fuck. Think I'm of it this way, too. Like, your friends were murdered, too. If you're if you're innocent, your friends were just murdered, and everyone's, like, pointing the finger at you. Yeah. I know two other cases where this has happened, 
and like they were innocent, I could only imagine what they were going through when they're trying to grieve, but they're being accused, like battered by the police. Kind of like the Shawshank Redemption. Wow. It all comes back full mm. circle. eh? Mm. Well done. Yeah. You should be a, a screenwriter. They're on a, they're on a strike right now. Yeah. You so want to jump? I could just jump right in. Yeah. I'll call this one OJ. Tales of an Innocent Man. What if OJ was responsible for the making the murder killer? Oh. Yeah. What if it was He him? burned the body or whatever yeah. there and. It was never like, he just wanted, to, OJ was just doing his thing. The only thing that, that screws that whole thing up is the nephew. That nephew did it. He did it? Absolutely. He's got like a different tone. So when he's like li- like lying or he doesn't want to tell the truth, he's got that lazy slack. One time he was on the phone with his mom and he just admitted to her. He's like, I did it. And his his tone was more human. It was more himself. Jesus. So I says, this is, I'm like, this is the kid really talking right now. I used to be like that, that mopiness, like when I didn't want to like admit the truth and stuff, just looking completely stupid. You just play dumb. I mean, not to say he's smart, he's dumb, but you just do that when you, you don't have the answer. And when he had the answer for his mom on the phone, I could just tell, like he was telling the truth. Mm. There's a big difference. They made it seem like he was a like, coerced because of like prolonged, like basically, um, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for, but like, like just being questioned for so long, he's just like, fuck it. I did it or whatever. Yeah. I but, just... but he, it seemed like he had too much like knowledge or something. Yeah. He might not have been literally there for the killing, but I think he was there. Yeah. And like then his he, brother, he's got more, some shit too. he's got more information like earlier. And then like when it probably finally went down, he probably wasn't there because he clues out on how she was killed. Yeah. I was going to say something. Do you think, I I noticed that a lot, like, it seems like a lot of people watch these, it's like almost like they're trying to learn how to get away with, like, oh yeah, I can't do that. I'm hoping that uh, these are never up to date. So like, if you were in the 80s watching it, it was like old techniques of the 70s. Mm. If you're now, we have more advanced techniques, so these still don't help you. I think it's extremely hard to get away with homicide these days. Yeah. And like, there's less serial killers now because of that. Yeah. Right? It's just next to impossible now. Yep. Like everything you do is monitored. You drive anywhere, like 37 cameras are going to see you. Oh, I, I know what I was going to bring up. Those, those two stories of um, oh, of innocent people kind of being braided by police. One is like a, a couple, I think an English couple, very rich, who went to Spain or something. And they had their daughter and they went like down to the bar for a drink. Like you kind of left her daughter to sleep, but like stayed nearby. She's gone. They accused them since they were, uh, doctors and stuff too. They accused them of like drugging their daughter and like getting rid of their body or whatever. Jeez. Or maybe accidentally killing her and making it. It, it turns out like they have a, a very likely suspect now wow. who kidnapped them, her while she was asleep and they were gone. But like the whole time they were getting for like oh, yeah. a year or two. Cause they it makes were sense. Blamed, right? Like the, like heavily. And it made me think like, Oh, they're, I guess they did do it. Yeah. And I, it's very unlikely now that they had anything to do with it. Yeah. Uh, and then another, this is a very crazy story. A man picks up a hitchhiker and starts driving his way home. And the hitchhiker, something goes down where this guy's acting crazy. And he, like, attacks the man who's driving and uh, wants to kill him. I think it was a knife or something. And luckily, the guy manages to boot him out of the car. And he's kind of in shock. He, I think he was going to a gas station or something first. So he goes to the gas station, blah, blah, blah. And then he's almost home. So he goes home and he sees the man on his street and he's thinking like what the hell um so he knew where he lived already that's what he thought so he actually just left he didn't want to pull in because he didn't want the man to see him well he comes back home like an hour or two later he left he just drove away and went somewhere else to find his house has been broken into and his mother's been murdered holy shit i kind of wrecked the story because i told it in order it would have been way funner 
if I had just said this man's mom was murdered and here's his take. Yeah. Came back to it. Yeah. My bad. But uh, the police braided. They're like, this is such a stupid story. You're saying like you, this hitchhiker that you picked up miles away, blah, blah, blah dropped him off, found your house and murdered your mom. It sounds unlikely. They found the guy wow. and it was a complete coincidence. The guy didn't know anything about this man, his house or anything. He said he just thought that was a house no one was in. And when he broke in, she was there and he stabbed her. Jesus. It was a complete coincidence. This unlikely story. Thank God they found the guy. Could you imagine that? I It just seems so random. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on with my hair. You got that. O- I just got a cut today. You got that OJ look. I've got the OJ look. Yeah, don't you? Of the look of an innocent man. <laughs> OJ. Who knows? You want to sponsor us? Is there like a yep. cool hand gesture we can do? I don't know what I'm doing. I like Chappelle's times. He ran, I think he ran into him four times. Have you ever seen that? No. I've seen him run into R. Kelly. <laughs> not not OJ. Yeah, the OJ ones, they just, I don't know. It's a, it's a long story. I don't know if I have time to get into it here. But. Yeah, okay. We'll talk about it next time. Yeah. Every episode, we'll talk about OJ. I think, yeah. I'm. A, who knows if he did it or not, but. We don't know. We just don't. Or maybe she had it coming. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. Um, yeah. Um, I haven't watched a single movie since the last time we talked. How? Like, or maybe I have. Oh. Maybe I have. Let's think about this. How oh, I you- have. I have. I watched uh, The Gray Man. Yeah, you were not impressed. It was pretty bad. I think I gave it a 5.2. How did you feel about that? I would say that's accurate. I, I got a feeling you thought that was a little high. I, I, I'm just used to Ryan Gosling, like being like this, like quiet, dark. Um, not a good role for him. No, because he he was more like um had to talk more in this. I guess I should say, and he wasn't as like mysterious in this one. But and then we had uh Chris Evans mm-hmm. as the the bad guy, mm-hmm. which I thought he. A little zany, if that's a good word. That's to, a great word to use. He's just a little over the top. I thought what they should have done, and this would have made the movie ten times better. Switch him. Not a bad idea. Ryan Gosling as like kind of the 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 sociopath like guy trying to. In the casting, I would say that's not the right choice that won't work but i've seen the movie it sucks it, i think maybe it was the right choice to swip, like switch them around chris evans as like the the main guy i don't normally like a chris evans performance like that not i, I shouldn't have worded it like that i like chris evans i don't like a performance like that mm. but this movie was so dull and so boring it was the only part i liked i think it, why it worked too is because it's like the opposite of captain america yeah I he, like that because yeah that because you're just so used to him being like the good guy so it's interesting to see him if as the movie the had guy. been better I could say Chris Evans was the worst part the movie was so bad it's it's shocking how that was the only entertaining part I had. it was like almost like comic relief yeah at it times. was like just give me something and he yeah. was like giving me like something and almost kind of rooted for him like because like yeah because Gosling was so bland in that he was and I don't mean bland like like his serious guy staring stuff like that's cool to me his trying to be like a funny guy kind of character was just nothing there was nothing there and he could be funny because have you ever seen the nice guys i've not he's he's funny hmm. yeah when he's not trying to be a tough guy hmm 5.2 what are you uh giving it four yeah i usually go below fives on that i only let it go above five because of chris evans yeah one uh, I haven't I've seen the trailer for this sorry just changed the subject I've seen the uh, the new trailer for uh, Bird Box Barcelona mm-hmm. 
And I'm pretty pumped for that. I'm not. Did you like Bird Box? I did not. You liked it. I really liked it. That's good. I really liked that movie. Did you feel like that was like a little too... It's been done a hundred times. It's to, to me, it's like... I don't know how... It's just... You, you can't see what's happening. So it's like interesting that like you have to be blindfolded the whole Fear time. the unknown. Yeah. And then like the one guy that like drew what he saw and like to think that like that's what these people saw before they oh what did he draw he drew like these creatures oh They're, so there's like some people in that in the movie that like they didn't kill themselves when they saw like whatever they saw they would just get like almost like entranced by them and then they can convince others to look oh i do remember those people. yeah they were like force you to open your eyes yeah so like, and that, and then before they did, before they tried to get the people to open their eyes, the guy had all these drawings on this like coffee table and they're, and he's drew, he drew what he saw and they're crazy looking. Yeah. I mean, it, it just, uh, there's so much better out there. I find I was going to, I was going to ask you, um, I was thinking about this. What is the worst way to die in like the scariest, like maybe not the scariest, but like the worst way that you would think to die in a movie i've got like a number one and maybe this isn't anything extravagant but i hate the idea of people being lit on fire alive Mm. or like being burned alive like on a stake there's some of that i hate that i just can't people covered in gas and like they're gonna be lit on fire Mm. like that's my only phobia that's the scariest thing for me i hate it yeah for me and like I, I sometimes I think about this just randomly. It's the goddamn bugs from King Kong. Oh, like the ones like when they just get there and there's these oh, giant they're... ass bugs and like this one like just like latches mm-hmm. onto this guy's head and just eats them. That's very. Memorable. And they're fighting like giant like caterpillar or not caterpillar. Uh, uh, Andy Golem. I is, is that not Golem? I don't remember the whole movie. I just remember that scene. Very memorable. Like they they're fighting like giant grasshoppers and stuff and and then there's like these like I don't even know what they're like worms that have like another mouth that comes out yeah. and it just latches and one just on grabs onto his head doesn't it yeah it just like sucks on his head yeah that yeah, that like, is the most terrifying not like eaten alive but like digested alive that's fucked up yeah and another one um jumping around a lot here another scary ass one was from Anaconda why when when um what's that guy's name. You don't like the creature feature, eh? No, I do not. I do wow. not like being slowly digested. But uh, John Wright, John Angelina Jolie's father, dad, yeah, him. So when he gets eaten by one of the anacondas, and then they like, I don't know what happens. They spit him out or whatever, and he's all f- like half digested, but he's not dead. Like that is terrifying to me. Do you remember when he was almost <laughs> in Deliverance? I've not seen Deliverance. You haven't seen Deliverance? No. Where do you think the term squeal like a pig boy comes from? I don't know. I, I Well, I do now. What? Do you know anything about Deliverance? No. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently people get <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Deliverance is heavy. Um, is there like, do you want to watch Deliverance and then we could talk about it next time? Sh- sure. It's not like the disturbing films. It's still... A mainstream film. Okay. So you're okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take a gander. Great film too. Okay. Really, really cool. I don't want to wreck it for you. It. I've heard the name before, so I know it's like. You know the. Ter- uh, you know this sound. Like the dueling banjo. That is deliverance. Huh. Yeah, dueling banjo is a deliverance. These, these two guys start playing banjo against each other, and they love it. Huh. Yeah. I'm a fan now. You even knew the theme. Kind of weird. The banjo? Dueling banjo. You just said the name of the song. I've, I've literally seen people doing dueling banjos. Yeah, that's uh they're talking about <laughs> the man. <laughs> is is that a word you're allowed to use on YouTube? I don't think so. We should probably uh, There's some words you're not allowed to word. use anymore. Yeah. Uh taken advantage of. Man essay. Man essay? Oh, no, I, I wasn't being Spanish. Yeah. That, 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 I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> Man, I say, um, 
Okay, I'll take a I'll take a look. Sounds interesting. Yeah, watch it with the uh, the wifey. Mm. See what she thinks. <laughs> Does she watch movies? Yeah, we watch we watch movies from time to time, but they're more rom coms. A lot of uh, rom coms. I feel like there's a lot of Will Ferrell involved as well. You know, I used to love Will Ferrell. I still do. He was just doing the same thing too much. It is true. Do you like him in The Other Guys? I love The Other Guys. The Other Guys is amazing. The there's... Other Guys is the first and last time I went to the theater stoned out of my mind. I had so much Wait. trouble understanding what was going on. When was this movie out? Let's just say it, uh, like 2010s. And when did marijuana become legal in this country? <laughs> Probably 2010s. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail. Um, so imagine being stoned out of your mind. Like I was blitz. Like uh, you could just tell mm. on my face and I did not feel comfortable. Now imagine seeing The Rock and Samuel <laughs> Jackson choose to jump off a building. Aim for the bushes. And they fall to their death. <laughs> And I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a joke, if that was a mistake in the movie, <laughs> or if they had a plan and something I missed happened. Yeah. They I, were very confident in that. That was very confusing for a person who was high out of their mind. Yeah. Well. Never did it again. I was like, it's not happening. That was not a good time. Yeah. You, you got to go sober. You got So you can really appreciate it. Well, it's. Not that you don't appreciate when I, you're high, but I did have to go see a Star Is Born, so I, I ate some like brownies, uh, just because uh, I saw were, that they were going to see that, and I thought, well, at least I could see it high. It did not work mm. at all didn't for the it. whole film Make until it worse. I stood up after the movie was done, high as a kite. I thought that was the worst. I had to watch the movie, and then I had to stand up and be high as hell. It all kicked in at once. I was kind of stuck on the staircase and people were like walking into me and trying to get around me. Big Bradley Cooper fan. And everything but that, that was horrible. <laughs> that was so bad. Everyone's acting was horrible. The story Even was Lady horrible. Gaga? Yeah, I'm not a fan. Mm. Not a fan of her acting. Has she been in anything else? Uh, she has and I'm, I'm drawing a blank. She's going to be Harley Quinn. What? You didn't know. I didn't know that. On the on the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. The more oh. serious Joker. Yeah. Okay. I still haven't seen the Batman. I've Yikes. failed you. I have failed That's you. Okay. That's okay. I really want to see it though. It's a 7.5. 7. 7.5. 7. Yeah. That's good. It's not bad. Yeah. It's there. It's have you rated the original Batman? Um, 89. 89. I have not. Oh, I thought you gave it. Sorry. No. Sorry, yeah. that's not that'd be a good score. Yeah, that would be that could be the the Batman score. I take into consideration like what was it like at the time? Like, could you imagine fifty years from now people bashing Heath Ledger's Joker because it's been done a hundred times? They don't realize that he came up with something special. Yes. So like, you got to be in the zone for the time. Batman eighty nine. Like, could you imagine Batman was like a joke before that? He wasn't taken serious. He wasn't, no, he wasn't. It was like the first time he was kind of dark on film too, though. He's, he had never been like in an all black suit ever. Yeah. You know, he was, he was wearing a yellow belt with under blue underwear with a little boy. Did that one have nipples? No. On that, the suit? That's Joel Schumacher. Yeah, that was Ooh. whole. Yeah. Why would you put nipples on the Batman? <laughs> I like the, like the B roll or whatever they call it. They're when they're like, you just, they're just turning and it's like nipples and. Yeah, they're like, just showing butts and nipples yeah. and like it's it's like very George Clooney awkward. Like, how did you sign off and like? I get I've, then again, like, you know, if they asked me to do, I'd do it for. I would play Batman for five hundred dollars. <laughs> for five, yeah. I would do it. I would. Yeah, just saying that you wouldn't get the part. You think? Well, that because that's a very cheap Batman, and it's like this guy doesn't got it. <laughs> you should have asked for a million. <laughs> Five hundred dollars though. Like, think of how much more you money. Sound like than- trash man. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you want some crack in the back alley. <laughs> All right, a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's still not quite the Batman. But like, yeah, that's for like a Lamborghini or something. 
Wait, that's not even like minimum wage, five hundred dollars for like a year of filming. <laughs> <laughs> that is the lowest. Like it's like a passion extra of, of we love, get paid though. More. I would love to be Batman. Yeah, I hear you on that. Like I would do it for free. You're right. Free for free. No five. It's got to be five hundred. Why five hundred? I can buy like a PlayStation. <laughs> I'm sure you could just like. Can you just like endorse me or like give, like give me some action figure sales? One percent. Mm. There that, you go. That'd that's be more the, than five hundred. That'd be the smart play. Yeah. 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 Stock options or, or buy me a PlayStation. Do you have a PS5? No. Wow. I'm, I'm shocked. Might, I might get one though. You never had one. I've never had one. You're usually the first to buy. I'm a big PC gamer now. Okay. Big time. I don't get that world. Um, I don't understand it. It's uh it's it's a dark place. Yeah. No, I hear you. It's uh basically I don't know if you've ever heard of PC Master Race. No. Basically they look down on oh, they look down on all of the consoles. So if you have a like like yeah. an Xbox, like they're like <laughs> I don't get it. Peasant. You can't like always be running your P like it's just it's too much money for not enough difference. Oh, it's it's crazy. Like obviously your computer can do way more than that, but it's like a graphics card now, like a like the top of the line graphics card here is probably twenty five hundred dollars just for the graphics card. Yeah, so like PS five is really catching up to like yeah, the idea of PCs, or at least mainstream PCs, it's it's already passed. So it's like almost like what's the point? Unless like oh, yeah. unless you already got your foot in the door, so you're just buying bit by bit now. Like you're not building a whole PC from scratch. I feel like the consoles are like typically a year, I don't know, a generation kind of behind on the PC. Like a PC yeah. can look way better. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But the value is insane. It's almost like I don't even think they make money on the consoles. It's just like basically about getting the games out and people buying the games. Oh, probably. Yeah, you're probably right. It's very low like profit margin, if any. Yeah. Yeah, because compared to the PC prices, how could you make a profit off that? Yeah. It's all about selling games for 90 bucks pop. They get so much money kickback from each game they yeah. put on their console, right? And the DLCs and all that crap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy 16. I I have I've seen some clips of people playing it. Yeah, they were having like a bidding war too. Like I guess PlayStation like totally outbid Xbox for the rights to Final Fantasy. Yeah, you know how like like Final Fantasy kind of belongs to PlayStation. Yeah, you still have to like fight for your games. Yeah, and that's uh, that. I didn't know that. Yeah, they just like it was like ten times the amount Xbox offered. I remember that um, Xbox used to have the rights to. Call of Duty. Oh. Wow. And then wow, that's not the rights. rights, but like the first they get the first crack at the DLC. So like if a new DLC, like a map pack came out, it would go to Xbox first. Wow. And then it switched to PlayStation. Because they probably weren't making any money off. And that was it switched to PlayStation when the I believe the Xbox One came out. Do you think Xbox is gone now? No. Like do you think it will be gone? I think that Xbox is more popular in North America. But everywhere else, PlayStation is, is. You think in North America, Xbox is more popular than PlayStation? Like I could. See I'm gonna that, look that up. I could see you saying like the only place Xbox is popular is North America, but I still don't think it beats PlayStation. Maybe uh, like what did it beat? Like the PS4, I think it beat. But it I, didn't last very long. Eventually, people came around. No, the the PlayStation destroyed. The Xbox One. I think that was the PS4 destroyed the Xbox One. Oh, so so then it must have been the PS3 suffered. The PS one of them lost. I think the Xbox 360 beat the PS3. Yeah, I think so too. And then after that, the Xbox One it was something to do about exclusive games and backwards compatibility. Mm -hmm. I believe it was. Yeah, it was something like that. I remember the PlayStation commercial. It's like how to share a game with a friend, and it's like the guy like literally hands it to yeah. him. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, such a shot that. at Xbox. <laughs> and then Xbox, I changed everything later. You can't take it back. Once no, you do it. once you do it, it's damage it's over. is done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xbox is uh, garbage. Not a fan. Never was a fan. 
I, I'm just saying when I'm on Xbox Live, like back in the day, now it's mixed, but back in the day I was on Xbox Live playing Call of Duty. I've never heard more racist shit in my oh. like the most insane stuff. Oh, how like take moms. So you're saying racists by Xbox. Oh, I'm not saying just Xbox. I'm not saying it's exclusive to Xbox. I'm just saying I noticed that more people had microphones on Xbox than they did on PlayStation. Like by a a long Bro, shot. You should be a politician. The way you walked around that question does does xbox have more races they have more microphones <laughs> <laughs> they okay. do they have more microphones more talking okay more mic. they do they have they have way like if you go in on a an average playstation lobby back in the, i'm not saying now i'm saying back then there'd be like two people in, in the chat or in the in the game like out of 16 people that had a microphone you go on xbox it's like 12 out of 16 and they're just going nuts. They're like, you, if you win a game in the chat or the, the, the voice chat after, it's just like, you're like, you're such a pile of blank and oh. your mom, like, I'm going to go do blank to your mom. And, and I, I, I never got into the first person shooters cause I don't want to deal with that garbage. Yeah. It's like literally like I'm a full grown adult and, and a, Eight-year-old kids call me uh, the N word. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is a little off topic, but have you ever played The Last of Us online? The first one online. I have not played it. I've, I've only seen the, the show. I've only seen the show. I feel like that means I've played it. Basically, it's the same thing. Oh, the game it's, story is so much better. I mean, it's the same story, but it's done so much better. It just didn't have the emotion to show. Pedro. It was way better. Seeing Joel it was way better. So you don't even know about The Last of Us 2. I don't. Wow. I only know that he went into that hospital guns blazing. Yeah, he did. He fucked up a lot of people. I love that he lied to Ellie. That was like my favorite ending of any video game I've ever seen. Mm. It was so cool. Just it ends with like a lie. But back to the online, it was really cool because I'm not very good at like the shooting aspect of games, the competitive shooting. Okay. Their online was you had to play like a year as the Fireflies or whoever the other was. So it was, I think it was like 30 games or something was a year. And you had to, so if you wanted to like get the trophy for the year, you had to like complete different things. Like the next time you played an online game, it wouldn't let you be the gunner. You might have to be the medic or something Mm -hmm. else. Like it kind of forced you to be like, we'll pick one of these three jobs. And the way you got points was like by healing people if you were the medic. It's so like, multiplayer? Yeah. That's the cool. first one was multiplayer. So like one would be like get 10 kills, like if you were supposed to be a gunner. One would be like plant 10 mines or craft 11 items. And one would be like just heal three down people. Like, and that's how you would win personally your game. Mm. And then you still had to win the match um, to survive the that whole year. Like, or else you would lose people in your party. But it was great because I could actually play because I, I didn't just have to fucking kill people. I could just like blow them up or kill so them. Like, like almost like a side game in the main game. Yeah. Yeah. The online was a lot of fun for hmm. me. No one played it. I, I loved it. It's kind of like battlefield where like you have like instead of just i just run out and shoot people it's like oh i'm a medic i can actually get down people up and, or like i'm a, a, a engineer i can like blow up or repair tanks yeah, and, or and did it count as points like rewarding you like instead of just kills did you get anything out of that i don't think it would affect um i think only like taking over areas to the point where like the enemy has no areas left was like the win or unless it was like a death match type deal yeah. but there was nothing like that yeah yeah i, I yeah i get it I, I find that a lot cooler the fact that you just don't sit there and shoot you could just do something else yeah that's kind of lame actually now that i think about it now i said it out loud well because it's not like I feel kind of weird because you're stuff. not the rock just run kicking doors down <sighs> was not my thing I was never very good at it hmm. do you want you're a lover you, not, not a fighter not a fighter Speaking of which, we can go segment right into Heat. Oh, was was Robert De Niro a lover or a fighter? Oh, he's a fighter. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. You don't think that movie was about him becoming a lover? 
No, because in the end, his ego or whatever took they got the most of him. Yeah. And uh, he was almost out of it. He was he was gone, but he's like, mm, I got this guy wronged me, so I gotta go back. He had the choice too. Oh yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, that he actually was about to get away with it. <laughs> I'm not getting. I don't know if I. Uh, I don't know. This one's giving me quite the buzz. Yeah, it's very strong. I'm feeling it. Yeah, fuck, I'll take this after. Maybe. But yeah, the Heat. Oh my God. Top number one shootout in any movie. Like, I think so. I there's, think so. There's, it's so real because it shows like bystanders getting hit too. Because mm-hmm. like that shit would happen. And not, it's not always like it, it was sunshine where very like. Very impactful. It felt like the. Sun, the the surroundings were a thing, whereas normally you're kind of just in the zone watching your hero fight your villain. Yeah. But we felt like a whole street getting annihilated. Yeah, and there's like like women getting shot and like, mm-hmm. yeah, it, it was it was very realistic. I think uh, one of the aspects to that feeling so realistic is they didn't like using the uh, fake audio. So he said, just use what we might. And that's why the guns sound so impactful. They're, that's like, like for once, they just used the mics that were on set. Hmm. Normally, they add in the the gunshots oh, and really? stuff. Yeah, or they clean it up. He was he wanted that echoey, loud gunshot. Like and it, it realistic. Really does it like it makes it yeah more real? I don't know why more movies don't do that. They they like silence their guns and stuff. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you, the the realness of it yeah for sure it was it was it felt real like you felt like and especially like the way like the camera is going in between the cars and you're watching it all yeah like they're always filming each other from across the street so you're like seeing it from like the other person's yeah. point of view yeah i, I great movie um, i love val kilmer in that too but like very rare do i like val kilmer but i love him in that mm-hmm. he's the star of the second one it's a book right now heat 2 is a book that's going to be made that, into a movie I don't think it'll be him. No, I don't think so either. I'm halfway through it, but it's about him. He's like escaped to like a South American country. It's like after he drove by and, and his wife gave him like the, yeah. the nod. It's like basically. how he got like, out of America. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sounds interesting. That's, that'd Al be a Pacino's cool movie. And still trying to find him. Really? Yeah. Uh, and did you ever like pick up on what was going on with Al Pacino in that movie? Like uh, him and his ex-wife and his and their daughter or like what did you ever realize he like acts very like outrageous in that film there's times where like i i I, go on what 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 are you doing i was cutting you off a bunch you you continue sir like when he was um i know he ad-libbed some some a lot of stuff yeah like uh she's got a great ass great ass (laughs) (laughs) he's he created a backstory in his head that uh his character was a coke addict. Oh, yeah. So you don't see the cocaine, but he's you can feel it. He's per, like pretending to be strung out or yeah. high a lot. Don't waste my motherfucking time. And I would say that's the scene where he assumed I just did a bunch of blow. I'm yeah. going in here and interrogating yeah. him. He did. He did go in there not like a normal cop, but like a like a cop was like strung out. Yeah, yeah. So he's uh, pretending to be high all the time. Hmm. That's why he's uh, mission accomplished. Yeah, it's a great character. Any that's, uh, that's so cool. awards in that movie? I don't know. I was too young to like know about the Oscars and stuff. I'm betting not. They they like tend to frown upon that kind of movie until later on in life. Um, I I feel like Al Pacino had a more um, like a I'm not gonna say better role, but like his character had more like. Um, power in the movie, I would say, over um, what the hell is the other guy's name? Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. What do you mean, power? I just feel like his character. I don't. Know, man, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Like he outacted him? Not outacted, but I just like more of um, a presence. I would say because really? it's like it's, it was rare to see like those titans go at it in a movie. And I think the complete opposite. I have never been more scared of Robert De Niro. Like, and, and he's pretty scary in Goodfellas, but that's yeah. probably his scariest character to me. Like I, I couldn't unpredictable. That guy. Unpredictable. That guy as knew how to kill. Yeah. Like he could take down anybody. Yeah. He, he was could in charge, but he, yeah, I, I just, yeah, maybe you're right. They're, they're both really good. And they're, they're great. And they're, they're like, they're, they're not, ending. 
they're not being the same character. It's yeah. fun to see like them be two different characters instead of, you know, usually what happens is like they just end up acting the same. They want, both want to be tough guys. But what do you think about like the cafe scene where they meet? Yeah. One of my favorite scenes. Yeah. If, if I had like a top 20 favorite scenes, it might even be in my top 10. I love when they sit down for the diner. I think Al Pacino won that. Really? I, I, I just the way he walked away and er, er, like I could arrest you right now. Like, but he's like, let's see how this plays out. Yeah. I like how De Niro takes in what he says and then he throws the name of the movie out there. Right. He's like, wait, he, he doesn't say it there. Does, does he say he, he, I think he says it to like his wife or something there, but he says something along the lines of like, you know, I won't hesitate. Yeah. You're a good guy. We sat down, we've talked, but it's, it's a very, like, you don't like, you don't really, obviously you'd never see that in real life, but like, it's like a respect thing. Like they both, yeah. like we respect each other. They're kind of saying like, we're the same person. Yeah. I, and he's like, I know you did it. I don't have enough on you to like bring you in, but like, I, like I know what you're up to. And, and he's like, yeah, I know you know what I'm up to, but <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't care. Yeah. He's like, you're not going to catch me. And if you do catch me, like you better be ready. Get some. Oh, get some. Great ending too. How wasn't really a justified ending because I thought toe to toe, De Niro's gonna win. Al Pacino's gotta have some kind of trick up his card or up his sleeve. And then when the time comes, the light's kind of in Al Pacino's eyes. It should be in favor of De Niro just annihilating him. But yeah, he gets he gets shot. I think they showed some like well the shadow because of the light. He saw that, so he just shoots. But uh, I I really don't think Pacino would have won that. But for Hollywood, you, can you really let the bad guy win? Oh, I love a good bad guy winning. I got some films for you. It's rare. I won't say the titles now because then you're gonna know the bad guy wins. But now I'm gonna show you. Oh some yeah. Films. That's the, one of those things. It's like, oh yeah, the bad guy wins. Like someone tells you, like the bad guy wins. Movies immediately ruined. Like, what do you have to live for now? Like, yeah. how are you gonna watch two hours of something of that? Yeah, and then you know. Yeah, yeah. People some, stop doing that. I got some films for you, and um, they're kind of nihilistic. Like, I'm not saying you're gonna be happy with them, but like, just the the something different. I'm a simple man. What does nihilistic mean? Uh, it means kind of like um. Like, like not caring. Uh, what's it mean? It's to go like thinking there's nothing in the world. Like to to have a movie where like there is no God. I don't believe in anything. That would be a very nihilistic thing to have. That's a very nihilistic message. To have your bad guys win. That's very nihilistic. Mm. Uh, it's just you know to not. I I actually don't even think I know what of one movie where the, the bad guy wins in the end. Really? Or where, where it's like, sometimes you like, there's like gray characters that win, mm. but like there's, it's rare where it's just like an absolute, like, uh, like the Joker winning. And then the- I've seen a few complete, like bad guy winning. Hmm. Um, I'm going to tell you one because you uh, you don't have to watch it. I was blown away. So when I was watching Hatefully, I was looking at uh, like some influences. And one of the influences is an old um, Italian spaghetti western called The Great Silence. And it's on like other spaghetti westerns. It's done like in a northern setting. It's very What's snowy. a spaghetti western? Spaghetti western is... From Italy? It's an Italian doing their take on cowboy movies. So there's American Westerns, which is like John Wayne, and there's Spaghetti Westerns, which is like Clint Eastwood. It doesn't star, it doesn't have to star Italians, but the Italian directors wanted their version of a Western. And now I know. That's where that quick draw comes from. That's more of a Spaghetti Western. American Mm -hmm. Westerns didn't really do that. Um, So Spaghetti Western, this movie is insane. The good guy beats the crap of the bad guy like the whole movie. Like he'll just come in, the bad guy will try to draw and just punch him and like teach him a good lesson. And then at the very end, uh, the good guy goes to fight him in a one on one, and then somebody just shoots his hand from a window. He's got no hand to draw, and the bad guy kills him, just shoots him, and then he turns around, he's got a whole bunch of hostages and he kills them. And like, all right, let's go. <laughs> Credits? Credits. Holy sh- crap. 
I don't know what the message was. He filmed a, a second ending where the good guy went crazy, jumping through windows, rolling, killing all the guys like that. Da, 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 and it, it kind of didn't work. It would have just hmm. been your average movie to see this very nihilistic approach blew my mind. It actually, if you think about it, people writing these scripts about like, it's always good guy winning. Like, yeah. you, like the bad guy, win, it just would, it would just like mind fuck you. Yeah. Like to have like. It does. Like just imagine Terminator Two, yeah, and then oh so yeah, and kills John, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just credits, like yeah, but and like not just kills John, but like kills like everyone. Like you have yeah. to, you can't have a single good guy win. You can't have that spark of hope. The the human race enslaved, yeah, and then yeah, I, I love it. I will try to sneak a few in there for you without okay. wrecking them. Uh, and I don't love it. I love it because it made me shocked. I yeah I I like a movie where at the end I'm like holy that was so weird or yeah. different. What like, would you have done if Al Pacino got shot and De Niro just leaves? I would expect more. I would I would expect like some kind of resolution instead of just the bad guy gets away. I would I, I would know. expect. I think it would kind of work. Or maybe like something weird goes down and then uh, Val Kilmer's character gets like yo I didn't like what you did there. Then they end up shooting each other and I, I don't I don't know. I don't like that you killed that random cop. But yeah, <laughs> that was my friend. That was actually my dad. Yeah, Ryan's taking over the screen right and But but that when they when he goes to that guy with like the the mullet or whatever when he when he kills him, oh that felt good. Yeah, when he goes to the hotel, and he's I mean, I'm he's trying like, to remember his name, Harwin Harwin. I don't. Know, he's, he's like he's like look at me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bam. Puts what he always puts a one in the head, two in the chest. Yeah, That's and then and the cops are right across the fucking hall. Wayne Grove. Yeah, That's the name. That 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 was a, a a homicide that I really felt good about. <laughs> I kept missing the beginning when I was young, so I had no idea who Wayne Grove was. Yeah, I kept missing that first heist. Yeah, he killed. Which the, is the, the entire story the, like, for like Brinks guys or whatever? They yeah, were. I'd never seen that until I was older. Had no idea why. I know it didn't. Wayne that Grove. didn't need to happen. He just and then yeah, and like then was De Niro was pissed. So there's a part in the Heat Two book. It's actually I didn't explain it enough. It's it's two stories going simultaneously. One is Val Kilmer's future. The other is Al Pacino's past when he was started in Homicide in the eighties. Oh, that's cool. I secretly think he's trying to find Wayne Grove. There's like this house invader, who's like very violent. And, Sounds like him. And I suspect it's like the story of him not trying to find Wayne Grove specifically, but like being beaten up by how hard crime is in the city. And this guy is brutal and he's hmm. not going to catch Wayne Grove, I assume, but because he's in heat. But yeah, so there's like two stories side by side. Interesting. And I, I, I like the 80s Al Pacino stuff way better than the Val Kilmer future stuff. Doesn't okay. really interest me. Um, I was just thinking of another movie, and I forgot because I'm. You wanted to talk about uh something else. You, I said Heat. Heat, and then um, two thousand one. That was a classic, yeah. So I don't remember everything about that movie, but I remember like the robot, or not robot, like the A, whatever is the AI, Hal. Or whatever Hal, yeah. Is it Hal three thousand nine thousand? There's something thousand five. Any thousand? Let's just one of them. How? How? Yeah. And then when he slowly starts realizing that he's trying to take him offline, and he's like, because yeah. he read his lips when he was like, it's in, not a great scene. Oh like, yeah. The cam work is just zooming in on their lips. Yeah. And he and he's like, I can't let you do that. And I'm like, <laughs> oh shit. He just brutally kills that one guy, and there's nothing his buddy could do. He's just gotta let that body float in space. Mm-hmm. He's like, let me in. To me, that's weird weird transition that's the beginning of terminator <laughs> yeah how something thousand yeah is uh easily skynet he is the beginning of skynet he's become aware how um like how much were we shown how without knowing how as kids like how much were you shown the red dot that talks with the monotone voice mm-hmm. saw it in everything yeah knew about Terrifying. how years before i saw 2001 
It was in the Simpsons. True. It yeah. was in everything. Yeah, you can think the, of. it gets quoted a lot. Yeah. Or, yeah. Terrifying. Uh, like, even as simple as it is, it's terrifying. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. One of my favorite things in 2001 is that transition from the cavemen to the mm-hmm. spaceship. That is like the that that's I never knew where that that music came from at the yeah. beginning. I'm like, oh, that's what it's from. Well, uh, Punkorama Six. I didn't didn't realize what I was looking at on the cover. It was a bunch of like punk apes bashing a monolith. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Had no idea what that was. It all comes back around to 2001. The recent Barbie trailer was uh, 2001. Showed a big giant Barbie doll and a bunch of girls. Let me ask: Were they off? What 2001 what? was the technology there where we're in space now they they're because that was made in the 60s or whatever right 69 60 they were they were they were they overshot what they thought 2001 was going to be like that was made in the 60s yeah my god that's great it was good but they they S- star wars is made in 77 think of how much better 2001 looks yeah it, it's a great movie but, but you I'm, don't think that's 2001. I'm thinking that by 2001, like I had, um, uh, I had like a, a yak back. Remember those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not strong enough technology. It was like a slightly better talk boy from home alone. I don't think it was better. A yak back. Maybe not better, but more portable. Very portable. And no tape required. What was our interest in that? We heard her voice back for two seconds. In a, like the worst quality on the planet. And it was like high pitch, wasn't and it? And you could change the pitch. Yeah. And so you, you'd you be like, Jeremy's, just, Jeremy's a jerk. And then it would be like. Yeah. It. yeah. And you had that all day. Or you could, you could record <clears throat> something that somebody said they didn't even know. I'm going to throw this out here. I think we uh, were one of the dumbest children generations ever. I disagree. Really? I mean, the the generation before us was hardened kids, really breaking bones and stuff. The generation after us is a little pampered, but they've got so much technology, they're like kind of geniuses with it. We were like beating each other with sticks in the backyard, bro. Yeah. Remember the pool noodles? We did that. Yeah. Oh, we, we my did that ears for, still hurt. It's not like we did it for like an aid. We did it for years. I feel like we were the first generation that really utilized the internet to learn how to do things yeah like for in, like i'm like oh i need to change like uh whatever on my car i'm like do i spend 800 dollars with a mechanic or kind of figure it out myself it, it it was used for that for us like we had it as like well, what can i discover it wasn't just like social media there was no social media i mean all there was we could chat with each other yeah icq uh, but everything else was like what can like i figure out or how can i figure this out mm-hmm. and i still very YouTube heavy for like, how do I do this? Like I go to YouTube for everything and I want to do it myself. But like, do you notice our parents don't do that? Do they rather just go, "Ah, I'm just not going to figure it out then. They don't do it. They sit back and don't do it. They half ass it. They don't like try to learn how to do it. It's very difficult. It's, it's hard to, to like, they just, instead of just like, they'll ask you to come over and do it. Yeah. my VCR is like, I need my VCR set. Yeah. To just actually look at the thing and be like, okay, push some buttons and see what they do or whatever. Or like go to the menu and like hit the thing that says set time. You know what I mean? Like they get angry. Yeah. They just don't do it. They get angry. They just give up. Yeah. They, they're like, okay with like, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm just not going to do it. That's, oh, I've seen them get angry. Yeah. Uh, do you think the generation below us uses the internet for that same purpose or is it just too much of an entertainment now? Um, like the kids after us. Yeah. Or- I thought they would have been like the even better for learning things, but you're, you might be honest with something. They might never have had the internet for that purpose. I, I feel like they had it so that it gets like always, they've always used it as a tool to like, I don't really need to remember anything. It's just, I'll just Google it where yeah. we used it. Like I have a problem yeah, and I need it solved. And I, and I don't know where else to go. I don't know. My movie like path would never have been the same without the internet. Like I used it to discover, not just discover and to watch, but like you couldn't get your hands on those DVDs. Like the things I watch, mm. it would be so difficult. I've expanded 
so much just being like, well, I got to figure out like where this goes to this with this director, his whole filmography. Like, you know what I think was like the biggest pivot on like, I was talking about this yesterday, the biggest pivot from being like, like having a CD like you, you, you're looking at the book, you you know, all the lyrics, you're look, looking at the art on the, on the box. You're like, you had like only a handful of CDs. So you really enjoyed them. It wasn't even the internet. It was actually piracy mm. that like made. So now you have access to everything, like yeah. everything, anything you could ever want. So now that one album that you had, I remember I was looking at like the green day dookie album cover and like all these little drawings on it and like you would look at them reading the lyrics you analyze that cover you but like, that's all i had yeah like <clears throat> excuse me there was a lot on that cover yeah there was a lot going on we're looking at like everything oh there's that guy's puking over there yeah and that guy's throwing something it's just i don't know it, it kind of i feel like having like more is less now um definitely and uh, on the topic of like a cd I used to listen to a CD from start to finish. Yeah. I couldn't, if I tried now, I'm not giving it a chance, but because I have too much yeah, given to me. Now it's like, oh, like, oh, I like this one song. Like I remember like, cause there'd be albums you would get and you, and now I still remember them. I know every single word. I know yeah. every song, even though they're like not great songs. I like, there's like, like, would we have listened to artists in the ambulance fully today? Probably not. Probably not. I haven't listened to a whole three songs. I feel like that was the last era of it too. Like maybe like 2003, 2004. Yeah. Like now it's like, I have everything. I have literally every, any, any music I want and from any. And there's way too much out there that I'm going to listen to a whole album. Like something that I don't care about. Yeah. Yet. You had to give it a chance back in the day. Cause you bought yeah. that thing. Yeah. You were like, I paid for remember, this. Remember uh, it was like Columbia house. Like you get like, <laughs> no, I do remember that, but why that, that was a scam. That was a full scam. <laughs> that, that was a scam. One cent for a CD. Like, what could go wrong? Of course I want this for one cent. And then what do they do? They keep sending them and you have to pay for them yeah. fully? Yeah. The, that fine print really fisted Did you. Did you do it? I don't remember. I remember I bought four CDs. Um, One, I still hold to high regard to this day. It was Counting Crows, okay. August and everything after. I know every word to that. Love because, Counting Crows. Yeah, I had to, like, that was like one of the few albums I had. Yeah. Silver Chairs, um, Frog Stomp. Okay, yeah. I only uh, listen to Freak Show. I never listen to Frog Stomp. Uh, Freak Show's better. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was like a collective soul album that I wasn't super into. And then an Aerosmith. What's that one real sick collective soul song? Jill. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I heard it on the radio. Today. Dan, like, I know Dan, this is collective soul. Dan. What is this song? Yeah, called? it was, it was a good oh, one. Right? It was always on the radio. Jill. Yeah. That's a banger. That was a good one. Hey, you want to know what one of the, like the funnest time in the nineties, I didn't have much fun in the nineties, but one of the fun, funnest times I had in the nineties was one of your birthdays. Ooh. We were like bingo dyeing our hair. Oh bingo yeah. Dabbing. We were playing Mortal Kombat three. Yeah. I never listened to like grunge music or anything in the nineties. Didn't care about it. Didn't care about it for a very long time in my job. Now the radio only plays like nineties and it's bringing me back to that time yep. of your birthday. That's like the only time I listened to like grunge and I'm loving it. Cause I'm a couple years older than you. Yeah. And then I was in the seven, eight class okay so i was i was in seven but i had grade eights at my party and you were grade six oh i was young bro yeah i was young you were a little out of your league there i was way out of my league. <laughs> if you were in grade seven now i was like grade four or five bro okay you were a few years yeah ahead of me yeah we we live very close that's i was just mortal Kombat, and you guys were yeah. dying my hair we, we were choking each other out <laughs> <laughs> the good old day no. <laughs> It was not Talking, safe at all. Do you see I don't what know I'm the saying were. <laughs> about us, our generation? Yeah. Like, that's what we did. Maybe we weren't the brightest. <clears throat> we were not. We didn't have the internet yet. Yeah. Changed the world. It but, did. Um, that's the only time I could think of where I enjoyed that music. And so now I'm hearing it and I'm brought back to that time and I'm just loving, loving it again. Let's dye each other's hair. Yeah. Oh, green bingo divers. I was colorblind. I couldn't see that. And my parents were like pissed. Because you had, I remember you had like the frosted tips going on. Mm. And when you add green to that, it like, it does not, oh, green is stuck. It's stuck there yeah. forever. Because like it was like, uh, it was like white tips. I remember <laughs> um, our naturally blonde friend Peter mm -hmm. did that as well. Did he? And he was green for. Was Peter at that party? Yes. 
Okay. I believe he was. Okay. Shout out, Peter. I haven't talked to you in many years. I think he's like a marine biologist. He was very smart back then. I mean, his brother is like a circus. Yeah, clown. Let's, let's just leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. 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 The good old days. That was great. Yeah. D- uh, bingo dyeing your hair. Bingo, bingo dabber dyeing your hair. Yeah. That's how Hon- we did it. Honestly, that's way cheaper than the, the box. Yeah. The, no one would ever think of that to this day. They'd no. go and buy like funky hair. Where the hell did we learn that? I like, don't know. I thought that was a normal thing for you guys. That that was like the first. Do you think we were playing Mortal Kombat 2 or 3? I feel like 2. I feel like it was 3. I feel like 3 came out. <clears throat> I think you had the 3 uh, book and we were doing like fatalities and stuff. Oh, fatalities are great. We were killing it. Yeah. That was a blast. Still a Street Fighter fan, though. I play Street Fighter over Mortal Kombat any day. Have you heard anything about Street Fighter 6? Nope. But I played 5 and it was fucking bad. Yeah. I, this I, 4 was amazing. I heard good things about, about 6. Um, the fixed online looks like seamless. Uh, and they've created a version so like you could play as a beginner, a, a intermediate, or advanced and still, like, your beginner character can play expert characters, like, just by whatever controls you do. It's probably, like, very cheap, like, hitting one button does a combo. But yeah. it allows new players to get in and try out. And I'm sure in, like, ranking, you have to be expert versus expert or something like that. But uh, it's allowing, like, people I, to get back in. I heard that 5 was, like, you could, like, literally, like, rub your face on that and it'll do, like, a Hadouken. Like, it's, like, it was so easy, like, the the accuracy you needed to do like a forward roll punch Hadouken. Was okay, then like I way am lower. I am incredibly bad then because I said I want to get good at fighting games. I owned five, and I still couldn't do shit. Mm. And I was like, this hurts my thumbs. I can't yeah. do anything. You got to get the very the, the big stick. And the... I would love to have the joy. Stick. Yeah, uh, I just suck so bad. I, I would do those training sessions where like you know you had to do like land. This combo those versus this tough. combo versus this combo. So I was trying to gain all the way up in those. Yeah, yeah I would get like in like five levels. So I did, I did all of them in four, with M Bison, and I got like the gold thing, and it says like you are beneath me, like the t- oh. like the title. I'm like hell yeah, that's when I'm playing someone online. They you, know you would say that to them. Well, it would say in my title like when I win, it said you are beneath me, <laughs> like. Why is he going to act like that? Jeez, that's harsh. Because I'm M-Bison. I'm role-playing, bro. Yeah, so that was five. The, the, you were playing? That was four. Four. Okay, I never played four. I didn't four like was... the gigantic characters. So f- to go from three, or I should say like alpha, like, to- Like 2D? Well, not just 2D, but your characters were like, they jumped more like Marvel versus Capcom. Like the the physics were more bouncy and, and mm-hmm. light. The, I, everything felt very heavy, like more like Mortal Kombat in Street Fighter 4, where like my guys weren't jumping that high. They're just a very heavy. You know what they should do? <clears throat> Remaster Street Fighter 2. Yeah. yeah. But like somehow 3D models. What happened to 3? Three? 3. Street Fighter 3? They have like four versions of 3 and like no one plays it here. I think I got you Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha two or something for your birthday one time yeah 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 yeah. i love alpha yeah it was uh, it was like the first edition of like the 3d we style. jumped from two to alpha here in north america yeah but everywhere else like legit went right on to three what was three like f- first strike or something like that or I can't there remember. is a first strike in three yeah three first strike but there's just like four different versions of three hmm. uh and it's got weird characters i think the only three characters are ryu ken and chung lee those are the only recurring characters where um, no Blanca, I don't think Blanca's in three. I I just I remember I played the absolute shit out of four, and I would go to like my buddy's house that I worked with, and we and we'd have big tournaments there, and and it was like, I don't know, just really everything seemed fair, and then I got five, and it just seemed like it was too easy to do the combos, but like then the player like I play online, and it was just. Do you know. have the joystick? No. Oh, so you still found? It I think I may have. Had, I may have had the joystick for four, but I don't know if I was super. I don't know. I couldn't do it, man. It just wasn't my thing. I I'm it. not as. I don't know. 
I'm I'm I don't have like the dexterity to like remember all the combos. Like these guys, I don't know if you ever watch like a professional. Oh, I usually just try to like do one I like and be like, oh, this like worked really well, and then I'll just keep doing that. It's if you watch like pros do it, it's like they just jab. Like I'm always hitting like heavy kick, heavy punch. Yeah. These guys are I like, think they're jab, trying jab. to find their distance though, right? Yeah. You gotta have that right distance. They 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 try to set you up in like like little combos. So if they can if they can punch you and they see that it, you didn't block it, then all hell's coming with it. So it, that's crazy. Yeah. That's what they do. That's insane. Those guys are are like pros. Like yeah, I, I have mad respect because like there's something about those games where it's like the smallest little distance, the timing. It's there, just too much. There's me. one video. Um, I believe the guy's name is Diego or Diego. I can't remember. <clears throat> but yeah, I've seen Diego's video. So he, when he blocks all of Chun Li's things, do, 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 do. yeah, and then he he did, was he had like a thin health yeah he was bar almost too. dead yeah that's and then like he, the most famous video yeah oh that's a great who video. was he fighting he, he was Ken I believe and he was fighting Chun Li yeah but the the guy who was Chun Li was a pro too he was a, yeah it was I felt like, bad for that guy because he was yeah. a good fighter because like it it was like Chun Li's like like super fast kick he's like block 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 and then she like jumps. And blocks you, you it have to, you goes have down to block. jump and block that dude. yeah you can't just block it from oh down. yeah it was it was beautiful that That's guy insane. that guy's like the best player in the world though who diego yeah he i think he used to play like ryu all the time or ryu or whatever yeah and uh yeah yeah he's great yeah he, that other guy is really good too though that guy who lost probably should have won because diego yeah. was getting his ass kicked yeah it, it that is probably the most viral like the most like well-known street fighter clip ever the best is too is after he's done blocking all that it comes back with a, a show you can yeah because right? like yeah. once once you do that you're like vulnerable right yeah. it just finished him. it's based like that is the equivalent of the street fighter movie yeah like just as good <laughs> <laughs> yeah that movie i feel real bad because that was uh the m bison guy's like last movie he wanted to make that for his kids before he died mm. he had the guy from there. adam's family yeah yeah and that was not a good movie. I like how they made it about uh, Guile. The American way. <laughs> <laughs> they just like fucked Ryu you up. Ever, right? You ever see like, it's like a guy made like a video. It's like, all right, we need a, like a theme song for Guile. Like, let, let's not make it too high strong. Like, it's just like the most, in, like Guile's theme song is so like, like the most <laughs> insane like theme song. I can't even think of it. It's good. I couldn't just think of the... Uh... Is that like the? Dun, I, li- dun, I literally dun, sent that to Anson earlier today. I'll show you the video. Was it just uh, dun, 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 I'll show you the full video. Do, 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 do. I actually have to get going though. I did not realize it was already this time. Okay. You think we were good there? Yeah. Do we talk about uh, everything we want to talk about? We talk about things. We talk about all. The, talk about all the things. We had more movies, but we could talk about them another time. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know how long this has been. It's 9.30 already. What time we start? I don't know. Like, Time flies when maybe. you're having Bone Shaker. Yeah, we might have started at 8. 7.1%. Amsterdam. I'm like, I have to stop because one, I got to work in the morning, but two, this actually did a number on me. Yeah. I had a beer before this too. So if like, I had two of these, I would this is be like, hospitalized. I was getting like a little daze there. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm getting I'm tired. like, do I open up this other one? I'm like, no. <laughs> no, we don't do that. So we're not doing the sevens again. Next time we'll do a four or five. We should have like a, a like a, a tasting. Mm, a flight. Mm. Mm. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> That was different. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that was how long? Uh, An hour twenty five.